there is an enormous amount of life around the cenote. Right now though, it's quite dry, and so most of it is tucked up somewhere, hiding. I think things will start to come to life when it rains here. Scorpions though, are pretty much in abundance. And these were really important for the ancient Maya. The ancient Maya, hundreds of years ago, had advanced astronomy and they had names for all the constellations in the heavens. And one of them they called Scorpion, named after that curled tail and the constellations that followed points along its length. And that is exactly the same as the constellation Scorpio that we in the Western world had managed to recognize. So these creatures found a position in the heavens because of that curled tail. It's not surprising that they were so much a part of Mayan life. This one here has quite thin pedipalps or pincers and a reasonably thick tail. It would give you quite a nasty sting. There are others around here that could potentially end someone's life. It's getting quite comfortable actually. You can see that that classic scorpion position when they're walking with the tail held up over their back, curled up, is actually when they're poised to attack their prey or to defend themselves. This is a much more classic position for a scorpion with the tail lying down, flattened, and that means that they can get into really slim, slender cracks and crevices, which is where they spend the majority of the day. And this one now is totally chilled out, and so it isn't in that defensive posture. 